able to hear your message, and that we be able to enjoy it, and that we may be able to get something out of it, God. In the name of Jesus, I pray that you use me, and that you change hearts. In the name of Jesus, we all say, Amen. Amen. Okay, you guys can sit down. Gracias. But I want to talk to you guys, well, today I have a message, more about a story. Let me just find it real quick. Uh, it's called Naaman. It was a man who had leprosy. Uh, he, he was a general. He was loved by his people, but he didn't serve God. And uh, he had all these skin conditions. Uh, leprosy, like when I first thought of it, I thought it was had to do with like being a leopard and you get spots and stuff. No, it's where you forget to feel. You get numb. And where you can't feel anything anymore. And so uh, with that, uh, like they don't know how much pressure to use. And so that way they, they really hurt themselves. So it was a big disease for this general. And he's loved by the people. And uh, they noticed all these things that's wrong with his body. It started, it started to look wrong, his body. And so they saw him and they're like, King, you got to do something. And then they're like, what can I do? And then one of the, one of the servants' wives said, you know what? I heard of someone who worships a, a, the true living God that has power to save uh, and power to heal. And he's like, what? A, a prophet of God? Uh, well, he, at first he was reluctant. I don't want to listen to a man uh, tell me what to do and he's another uh, prophet. So they finally convinced him to go because he uh, he's loved by people and the people, they persuaded him. So he goes out and he goes looking for this prophet in life. And at first he was looking for Elijah, and he would receive messages. Now think of it. This is a king. When you went up, uh, think of it. If President Obama wants to speak to you, and like you want to present yourself face to face. You don't want to send your messages. Well, this is what the prophet uh, Isaiah did. It's like he was too busy, so he gave a message to someone to give to him. And this is a king. He's like, what kind of man does this? Where I come looking for for treatment, looking for something else, where I help myself, and he sends me a messenger. And what does the messenger say? He says, King, the message is simple. The, uh, Elijah the prophet tells you to go into a river. It's an actual river, river. It's called the Jordan River. And dip yourself seven times. Now, the Jordan River is, like, nasty. It's brown. It's like the canal. Like, how many of you guys will take a dip in the canal? No one? I think I, I did when I was young. We were little kids, but... Uh, the the brown the water is all brown like it looks disgusting and so someone told this king you know what go dip yourself seven times seven times into the river now in this river uh, he's like man I have cleaner rivers at my own place at my own palaces why am I gonna dip myself in something so dirty and so he didn't want to do it but the people still convinced him they're like king give it a shot at least try and so he goes. And, uh, you know, it takes a lot of faith to go by what a man says and just message it. So he's already mad. And so he gets into the river, and he dumps himself once, and he gets up. He's like, nothing happened. Like, why, why am I doing this? And he wants to get out, but his uh, people says, please, King, just do it. And so he finds, finally, he holds on to the, he, uh, lets go the prize, and he dips himself another time, three more times. Until I get to the final time, the seventh time. What the prophet said was to dip yourself seven times. So you dipped yourself seven times, and at the end of it, he just came out new. The Bible says like the Spirit of God was on him, and it's like whatever he had completely vanished. Now this took a great thing for a message of God. Now if you were healed from a disease that you had, and you wanted to get rid of it, how would you feel? Would you feel good? Would you feel like, all right, I did it? Well, this man, he was so happy, he wanted to take almost all his possessions and bring it to the prophet Elijah. And you know what? Elijah, he's really, he's a really great prophet of God because he sees all these people coming in and, and bringing all this, uh, think of it like money, and, and he sees it, and the king says, you know what, prophet, I did what you said, and I'm healed. I want to give you all this. Please accept it. The prophet... He said, you know what? I can't accept any of it, king. How, how can you give up a million dollars? How can you give up so much money when, well, you rightfully uh, helped the guy. He said one thing. He says, for the gifts of God do not cost a thing and you do not pay for them. They're free. That's what he wanted to send a message to the other people. And basically, for us, we should have to realize that, you know what? 
we should give Christianity a shot. Many many of you think, man, uh, I'm Catholic, and I think, you know what, I, these Christians, what's the big deal? But I encourage you to follow with a relationship with God, because this king, even though he had all these possessions, he was unhappy with his life because of his sickness. Now, I don't know if you have a sickness. I don't know if you have a, a problem of your own. But the Bible says that if you put your trust in Christ, you know what? God will give you victory. God will give you blessings. So this is just a short message. With this king, he didn't believe any of it until he actually went and go. There's something important when you go, actually. When you put mo uh, action, ideas into action. You know what? I just I challenge you. You know what? Maybe, maybe you guys are Catholic. Maybe you're atheists. I don't know. My brother is atheist. And, and we, we get into debates all the time. But... For, for you, I challenge you, uh, with God, give him a, like a 30-day trial. Have you guys ever seen that in infomercial? It's like, yo, try, uh, try this new product for a month and 30 back money guarantee. Well, I, I challenge you to try God for 30 days. Just try, try 30 days see if God doesn't change your life. Now, uh, this is just a short message that I have. Uh, I'm going to end it right here. I hope you guys think of the story. Man, this, this king, he was a great king. Uh, but you know what? He wanted to give out all his possessions for his own health. What 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 gain what gain do you have if you gain a whole world but lose your own very soul? So this is the message that we should have. We should we should look for God and w with the prophet of God, uh, uh, with God's word, uh, we can have that peace that the same King had. All right, guys. So this is a short message. If you guys can just bow your heads, and we're just gonna pray in Spanish.